The Department of Urology at University Hospital Case Medical Center uh, is one of the oldest uh, departments in the country. It has been organized and revolved around the centers of excellence that connect the parts of our mission to heal, to teach, and to discover. If someone asked me what is the number one thing that distinguishes this department from other departments, I would say innovation. Every day we ask ourselves, how can we do this better? How can we provide a better care? How can we provide a better service? How we can do better in terms of our research? And how we can better teach? The aim is to take the various conditions that patients discuss with us and try to come up with a better solution, with a better answer, and with better treatment. A simple example is the innovation in the delivery of clinical treatment for patients with female pelvic floor disorders. And we pride ourselves in the fact that we've created a unique center for female pelvic medicine. We have created the center, the patients come in with the female pelvic floor disorders, and they know at one stop all their uh, issues are resolved. Our Center for Urologic Oncology is embedded in the Siteman Cancer Center, uh, which is the only uh, independent cancer hospital in Northeast Ohio. The Department of Urology offers all the latest uh, technology in the treatment of uh, urologic malignancies, uh, including minimally invasive and robotic approaches uh, to surgery, and all the latest technologies in radiation oncology, as well as a wide variety of clinical trials of new investigational medications for the treatment of urologic cancers. I think it's particularly important to have a multidisciplinary approach to the treatment of urologic cancers in order to allow the patient to explore different treatment options and then make a more informed decision. The tumor board that we have weekly allows us to sit down and discuss each and every cancer case with a medical oncologist, a urologist, a radiation oncologist, and a pathologist. Uh, this ensures that uh, there is a consensus on the diagnosis with the pathologist and also a consensus on the best course of treatment for that particular patient and their cancer. Patient satisfaction and understanding is extremely important to us uh, in the management of people with uh, urologic cancers. We do this by making sure the patient is well informed about their disease as well as all the treatment options. In the Division of Urology at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital, we work very closely with our pediatric surgical colleagues and others in the, uh, in the hospital to care for complex children. We have a particular interest in pediatric urological oncology, and there we really do need to work with the pediatric general surgeons and the oncologists to take care of these children and try to think of innovative ways to really deliver that care. One of the unique things about our department is its ability to work well and integrate with itself and other colleagues within it. So I can go to my adult colleagues and we have frequently done cases together. We recently took care of a little girl with bilateral kidney masses and through teamwork with myself, pediatric surgery and hematology oncology, we're able to save both of her kidneys and I think give her excellent quality of care. We've had an interest for many years in trying to do organ sparing surgery for children with urological problems. Uh, we work with the Children's Oncology Group to help devise protocols for managing children with cancer. We're particularly involved there with germ cell tumors and testis tumors. For many years we have gone down to Latin America on surgical mission trips to help take care of children there who are underserved. One of the challenges of these kinds of mission trips is that you really only have an opportunity to help a handful or two of children on any given trip. So we always try to incorporate a teaching component of it, involve the local surgeons and hopefully help to train them and get them interested in getting more training so that they can go forward and provide more of this care to their nation's children. We are strong believers in research and the impact of research in providing better health care. Thus, people who have been trained and equipped with the tools to be surgeon scientists or clinician scientists are supported. Stem cell research is a potent therapeutic option for treatment of multiple disorders. We have multiple protocols based on the translational level in the lab where we are using different types of stem cells. We believe that adipose-derived stem cells, uh, even what we call stromal vascular fraction, which is a non-culture expanded stem cells, um, might be of great potential use. 
Research is very important in what we do every day. It gives us that push and that need to be examining the present problems with which we're dealing um, every day and trying to find new and better solutions for them. We have restructured our residency program to a two-track program with an academic track and a clinical track. Our focus is how we can cover the gaps in the training of the surgeon scientists in terms of their ability to take their concept from concept to marketplace. And I believe we have one of the more robust infrastructure in the country to do this. We really strive to keep the residents involved in everything that we're doing. They are our right hand um, people in taking care of our patients. And I feel we owe it to them to um, give them the best education possible. The job of an organization is to be able to capture the new ideas of this marvelous uh, smart people and invest in them. And I think that is where the energy and the motivation and the enthusiasm comes, that we have built an infrastructure here that would continue to build and contribute to the field of urology as we go along.